We're getting at the stage of the corn crop and sorghum crop where we're kind of running out of time to do anything nutrient wise, but it is a good chance to walk your fields and get an idea if you might have some potential problems that you can take care of in the future. And while we always recommend soil testing and the use of tissue testing in good and bad spots, you can use a plant to let you know how it's doing in the season. So I wanted to walk through some of the more simplistic ways to do some uh, checking on nutrient analysis. And first we're gonna start with this corn plant here that I've pulled. And you gotta think about the corn plant as two different sections, actually all plants as two different sections. You have old growth down here on the corn plant, so these old leaves, and then you have the new growth up top. And I talk about old growth and new growth because nutrients inside the plant are mobile. So not only are they mobile in the soil, nitrogen is mobile and phosphorus is not, there's nutrients that are mobile and immobile in the plant. We have four nutrients that are mobile in the plant, meaning that when the plant runs out, the roots can't find it anymore, it's going to translocate up to the top and remove it from older growth. And then the rest of the nutrients are uh, immobile, meaning when the plant starts running out, you see the nutrient deficiencies up top. And so we're going to first start with the mobile nutrients. That's nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and magnesium. So those four are the ones we find on old growth. The first we're going to start with is nitrogen. And this is a perfect leaf of nitrogen. So it's old growth. You see that the tip is turning yellow and it's going towards the inner vein. So the, the middle vein is yellow and it's progressing towards the outer tip. This is the perfect nitrogen deficiency. Now phosphorus, we don't have phosphorus deficiency, but same. Phosphorus is easy to pick up because you'll have purpling. These lower leaves will be purple and you're gonna start with your older growth and work the way up. Potassium is, is a, a easy one. It's much like nitrogen that it's yellow and chlorosis, but instead of nitrogen starting on the tip and progressing into the middle, Potassium starts along the outer edge as yellow and the middle is green. Now magnesium, and it will be, typically you see magnesium, it has called intervenal chlorosis, which means there's yellow lines. We're getting pretty late for everything. We could potentially put some nitrogen on right now if we had the right application or irrigation and recover from some nitrogen stress at this point. Now, if you see some interesting colors and shapes developing on your upper leaves, that's gonna be your immobile nutrients. One of the first I've seen quite a bit of this year is sulfur. So that's gonna be a general yellowing of this new growth. So in this plant right here, it's really easy to see that we have some yellowing down here, but our new growth is fairly green. If we had sulfur deficiency, this newest leaf right here would be a pale yellow. Now, in early stages, we can apply sulfur. It's a mobile nutrient in the soil, so we can apply sulfur and recover. We have a soil fertility handbook that's got some nice pictures of nutrient deficiencies, along with some other fact sheets and websites that'll be useful. Check out the sunup.okstate.edu website for more information.